Starting off, I'm going to be taking my edge booster edge control and slicking back my edges so that they're not going to be in the way of our bald cap and so that we can keep them, okay? But I'm just going to slick those back and then I'm going to take some super alcohol and clean around my skin. This is going to remove all the residue and dirt from my skin so that everything can work properly and not slide back. So this is the wig cap that was sent to me, but I wasn't feeling it. I have a HD wig cap, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Then I'm gonna drag and pull this down like so, lift it up, then boom, take my scissors and go ahead and cut around my ears because the bar cap isn't gonna lay flat around your ears if you don't cut around them first. So that's mandatory. So that's how we're looking. Braids is flat, okay? Like if you want a flat install, you need some flat braids or at least a flat foundation. So I'm gonna take some Evident Wonder Lace Spray, the black can. This is my favorite version. And I'm just going to spray that right in front of my hairline. I'm not trying to get too close to the front of my forehead. Like I'm trying to keep it where my hairline is because I don't want this wig to sit low at all. Like I really haven't been feeling that look. I want my wigs to look more natural. So I'm trying to keep it in place of my actual hairline. So once that's done, I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow dry this on a cool high setting for about four to five minutes until it's completely dry. Now I'm going to take my scissors and go ahead and cut off that excess cap. Sidebar, throughout this video, please try to ignore my eyelash that is like slopping down <laughs> because it's going to do that back and forth this whole video, but once I catch it, I fix it. The left side near my ear wasn't dry all the way, so I had to hurry up and take my blow dryer and blow dry that down because it was definitely going to lift back. To keep my braids from just hanging out of my wig or my wig cap, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and cut directly in the middle of the end of the cap and then tuck my braids in and tie that in a double knot. Not too tight, but tight enough. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess cap. But yeah, that's how we're looking. So now I'm gonna take my foundation, my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation, RD15, and I'm gonna take both of those colors or shades and put that onto my cap. I'm only going to put foundation in the middle because that is where my part is going to be. It's no need to put it all over the cap, but this is what the inside of the wig looks like. The knots are bleached. I did pluck them. And as you guys can see, there's like three clips in the inside. And I'm going to go ahead and cut those out because, yeah, when you cut them out, your wig is just going to lay flatter and be a lot more comfortable. I'm going to take my super sharp scissors and then cut off the thread that is attached to the clip, which it's not hard to do at all, just showing you guys here. And this is how it should look when it is all done. So now I'm gonna put this wig on and I'm just coming out this hair. I did let this hair air dry after I bleached the knots. Um, yeah, I didn't wash this hair. This is just what it looks like air dried at its regular texture. So I'm gonna take my finger and map around my ear, basically tracing around it. Now I'm gonna flip that extra hair over, take my scissors and then cut around my ear all the way to the top of my ear. And that's how I know I'm gonna get the most comfortable fit. To make sure it's laying fine, I just tuck it around my ear and then boom, we're good. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side, going ahead and cut off that. And now I'm going to fix this middle part. I'm not going to like do it too detailed at the moment, just enough because I'm going to actually be plugging some more of this lace because the hairline was just looking too bulky for me. Although I did plug it, I don't think I plugged it enough. So I'm just going to take my tweezers and hold the lace into place on my head. And I'm just going to tweeze in the areas that I feel like are dense. When I'm plucking on my mannequin head and I know I'm going to do a middle part, I try to avoid plucking directly where the front is, where the middle part is going to be because I tend to over plug and it's easy to do. And I wanted this to look as natural as possible. So yeah, once it's looking more natural, I'm gonna go ahead and pluck the rest of the right side. The left side for some reason always comes out better when I pluck. So yeah, I could 
definitely tell like this side was way denser than the other so i'm going to go ahead and pluck the same way that i did in the front and we're looking good i'm like okay like i know this install is going to eat like i know she's going to ease so i'm just going to comb out those hairs that we plucked pluck a little bit more because right next to my ear it was just a little bit too thick compared to the other side like i was just comparing the two because i wanted them to look as symmetrical as possible so we're looking good now and the left side actually it was less lace so i'm going to go ahead and cut that so it's more even and now we're good to go now my cap sliding back i'm like oh shit <laughs> here we go again if you see my last video i'll see the cap slid all the way back but i'm like it's okay it is okay like this is still going to eat down like fuck the ball cap we didn't need it last video we don't need it this one so i'm gonna go ahead and do a glueless install again today y'all might not think this is glueless but this is glueless to me as somebody that uses glue for damn near every install with the first spray, the cap was starting to slide back, so I immediately took my blow dry and blow dried it back into place. And I'm just using my finger to reinforce it to hold into place and stay down. I had a feeling this was going to happen, y'all. Like, I had a feeling. But it was fixable, and it was so much spray getting, like, on my face because of the blow dryer. But it's cool. <laughs> it's cool uh luckily around my ear that was melted down like my cap wasn't going to move so yeah we're just going to blow dry that into place and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side just spray that right in front of the cap not too far down not too far on top of the cap but just you know and then blow drying it until it is tacky it's not going to take long to blow dry because you don't want it to be completely dry because then it's not going to stick you want it to be just tacky and by tacky, I mean sticky. So the part of my cap that was sliding back the most, I went ahead and took some Gatsby glued spray, and I'm going to blow dry that into place because, y'all, if that started to slide back, it was going to kill me, like, literally. So blow drying that into place. I'm doing three layers of this, so I'm just going to take my finger and smooth out the product, and then also use my finger to take off any excess product that was there because I didn't want this lace, like I said before, to sit too low on my forehead. So my third layer was actually dried down a little too much, like it wasn't tacky. So I'm going to go ahead and spray around the whole entire thing just with a little bit of spray to get it back tacky and sticky. Now I'm going to pull up my wig forward and place the lace right where the glue or the spray ends. <laughs> and then I'm going to drag, not drag, but basically like pull the lace into place to where I want it to lay. And yeah, I'm going to do that a couple of times just to make sure it's really where I want it to be. And then once it's where I need it, I'm going to go ahead and take my hands and press down the products into the skin so it can really stick. And then I'm going to take my band and put that directly on top of the lace. Tie that in a slight double knot, like not a tight one at all. And we're going to let that sit for 15 minutes. While I wait for the lace to melt, I'm going to go ahead and get the top of this hair flat. So I'm going to part it out into sections. This is going to be a very, very small section. And all of them are going to be small sections because that is going to help get this wig flat. When I say flat, I mean F-L-A-T, explanation point, explanation point, explanation point. But y'all, on that first one, I didn't feel the need to take product because that part wasn't going to be shown and it wasn't close enough to the top of the hair. But now I'm going to go ahead and take some silk iron, not silk, what am I saying? What's that called? Chi. <laughs> Chi iron guard, the oil version. And then I'm just going to put that on the hair and then smooth that out with my hot comb. I know I'm not showing you guys how much I'm going over the hair with my hot comb but just know i'm going over it multiple times i mean like at least 10 times <laughs> definitely until i notice a difference in the flatness and that it's like really laid down What's really going to help get your wig flat is taking your hot comb to the actual back of the hair multiple multiple times like when i tell y'all that makes a huge difference especially when you take a wax stick too that was my carrot carrot wax stick by the way but y'all y'all that wax stick at the end is really going to top it off and make everything super duper flat but y'all i'm just going to finish going over the rest of this hair well at least on the right side i like to take my scissors and cut right 
before my eyebrow ends or pretty much in the middle of my eyebrow and I like to cut that all the way to the top of the hairline and then take a razor and go ahead and shave off my excess lace. I prefer a razor over a scissors even though scissors do be sharp and they do cut off the lace it just gives me a more like naturally razored effect to where it's not a straight line because you can go in yourself and do like a jagged cut with scissors but i feel like it doesn't give that same effect as like a razor because the razor is just going to do that on its own so i'm just shaving off this lace in a downward motion the key to your wig install looking super duper natural and just laid as fuck <laughs> is getting as close to that hairline as possible when i say you don't want to leave no lace there that doesn't need to be there um so for real like that is a game changer when you cut off that extra lace and you cut according to that hairline like omg i cannot stress it enough literally but i noticed like it was more lace like on the right side so i'm going ahead and take my scissors and cut off some little pieces that'll make it match the left side a little bit more because yeah it was just too low if that makes sense y'all can play back and see what i'm saying but it was just too low compared to the left side now i gotta get this part to actually be a super crisp middle part so i'm gonna go ahead and take the end of my rat tail comb and pull those hairs and get them in place and then hot comb the hairs flat so that they can stay in place y'all so i'm gonna do this and see okay like is it a middle part because i need it to be a middle part <laughs> and it was so i'm gonna go ahead and take some mr for alcohol and remove any of that excess residue from that spray around my hairline and then take that same ruby kisses fa cream foundation tripping up on my words oops <laughs> Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation and put that over my lace to get it more cohesive with our skin tone. You feel me? So yeah, I'm going to cut off a little bit more lace because yeah, I'm a perfectionist. But now we're going to take some Ebon Wonder Lace Spray. And this is the Spritz version. And I'm just going to put that onto my finger and tap that around the top. Uh, not the top, but the front. The front of the lace, okay? So this is what it looks like after I let a band sit for about 20 minutes. I went ahead and flattened out the left side too, the same thing that I did to the right side. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started on my baby hairs. For my baby hairs with the middle part, I really don't like when they sit too close to like the part, unless it's like going to be baby hairs that's gonna sit in the middle too. But that wasn't the case. So I made sure to leave like an inch of hair before I started my baby hairs. Yeah, it just gives like a more mature look, if that makes sense. So I'm just being really precise and pulling out a thin layer of hair because this wig is plucked. Okay, so I didn't need to pull out an extra amount of hair. So I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And I'm basically going to do my best to pull out the same amount of hairs that I did on the right side. Like the same length, the same amount, all of that. Length times width. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I'm going to take some hair as the back because I'm like, mm, that's a little too much. Yeah, that's a little too much. But yeah, I'm just going to hot comb this hair too as well to just get this hairline looking as clean as possible. So now for my sideburns, I like to leave at least two inches or like an inch and a half of hair in between the baby hairs in the front and my sideburns. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Do the same thing on the left side. Hot comb those out to get them nice and flat. To get my baby hairs the perfect length, I like to cut them in a diagonal motion with my scissors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I let them sit right above my eyebrow or a little lower sometimes if I'm in the mood for that. But the same thing with my sideburns. I'm just going to cut them pretty much at the length of my <laughs> at the length of my ear. But y'all, I accidentally curled them upwards. Y'all know I've been saying how I've been curling my baby hairs under in the front because it makes them look really really cute like really tea so i'm trying to fix it now <laughs> i can't believe i finished like that but i was really shocked i'm like no way i did that because it is hard to get that same fluffy shape that you get the first time you curl it when you try to do it again 
So yeah, the left side came out way better, <laughs> curling them under in two pieces, and that's gonna help your wavy hairs just have a lot more shape and just look a lot prettier. So I'm taking my Icy Fantasia Holding Spritz. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the top of these hairs and start combing these out to shape my baby hairs. I'm just combing these hairs into place and then swooping the hair into the rest of the hairline so it can give like a nice gradient effect. And in the front, I like to just make sure I swoop it towards my forehead, giving it a C stroke, C motion, and then reinforcing them to lay down with my fingers. So yeah, this is just a repetitive process, TBH, until I get them to look how I want them to look. And taking that comb side of the edge brush to the top of the edges really gets them to a nice shape. Y'all see what I did there? Like, yeah, like that gave it that shape. So now I'm going to take some tweezers and cut off, not cut off, but tweeze off some hairs in the front because I really wasn't feeling how they were looking. Like I felt like they were too thick. So yeah, that made them a little bit better. Now I'm just gonna swoop them at the end so that they're not looking like straight, sticking out to get them that nice, I don't know how to explain it, but that swoop effect. Like I don't want them to just be sitting straight on my hair, on my head, <laughs> y'all. I'm gonna repeat the same process on the left side. I went ahead and plucked off some hairs in the front on this side as well. I feel like I didn't pluck enough cause they ended up being thicker than this side, but that's all right. It wasn't that bad, like it wasn't that noticeable. So yeah, just sweep, swooping the hairs into the rest of the hairline for that cohesive look. And I'm gonna take the end of the edge brush and pull out these hairs and cut them because they were longer than the left side. And I'm not cutting in a straight motion. Y'all never take scissors straight to your edges. Like that's gonna fuck it up. Like I hate not do that. I make sure to go ahead and do it in a jagged motion. You feel me? So that they're still looking natural and not look like I literally just cut off my baby hairs. Like that's not the look you wanna give. So with my sideburns, I'm taking that product and I'm just swooping the hairs and then curling and pretty much shaping the end to get it a nice curl and get it to stay in place too. Then I'm gonna blow dry that so it can mold. Now I'm gonna take some Carry Care Wax Stick and put that around the hairline just for an extra sleek look, you feel me? Like it's even fresh out the wet salon chair. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that here. This is just extra, y'all. Like, hello, this is a jet black bust down 28 inch. We're gonna do the most, <laughs> like what? Y'all know how most wigs come like a natural brown, dark brown color? This came damn near jet black, like literally. And I loved that because usually with a bust down middle part, I like to dye it jet black. With this, you do not have to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and start plucking this part. It was too many hairs sitting inside of the part. And so we're just going to pluck those out. Like literally, we're just going to pluck those out. Not too much. Not too much because you don't want your part to be super wide. And even if you did get it super wide, it wouldn't matter because, you know, that's fixable. But still, we want to keep this looking nice and crisp. We're just plucking out the hairs that are, like, sitting on top of the part. So now I'm going to take some cheat Iron Guard and put that all throughout this hair. I took a lot, y'all. Like, I took a lot. And at first I was like, ooh, like, is this a bad idea? But it really, really wasn't. Like, it made this hair so silky and soft and just flat ironing it was a breeze. But yeah, I'm just putting this all throughout the hair. I'm gonna take my Babyliss Pro flat iron and this comb. Y'all wanna make sure y'all have a heat resistant comb because it will melt and start shaping and doing splits and all this extra stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the chase method with this and I'm parting out this hair in sections so that I can have an easier, you know, time flat iron this hair and also so I can make sure I get every strand because y'all, you know, I usually flat iron my straight wigs on a mannequin head, but I'll honestly forgot to do it so i just had to do it on my head and it wasn't all that bad like i thought it was going to take a long time it definitely didn't so yeah i'm just moving with my fine iron super slow like i'm not in a rush at all we're just going to pass through it slow then go ahead and chase it to make sure that the hair stays nice and silky like y'all see it but yeah, yeah this literally took 15 minutes on each side like that was nothing but yeah y'all i'm just going to fine iron this hair i feel like i'm saying the same thing over and over so I'm just let y'all finish watching. Um, I'm not gonna show y'all me firing the other side because who wants to sit here and watch you fire on both sides? Like it's literally the same thing. So yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna finish doing this side.
the left side is now finished being flat ironed and it's giving silky like are you kidding me i'm gonna go ahead and tuck this piece behind my ear and cut off this little piece to add a little flare a little bit of edge to it and then i'm going to take my wax stick and put that on top of this hair to give it that finishing touch you know that finishing flatness that silkiness And this one's got to be glued spray over the top to get it nice and flat, okay? Like many steps to the flatness, there's, there's steps to this. But yeah, y'all, this is the end of the melting process. So now I'm gonna take some bio silk and put that throughout this hair to just give it that extra shine, you feel me? Like, I know the cheese already in there, but this is just gonna top it off, especially at the top of the hair to give it that shine because I don't have oil sheen spray. To get this installed the extra um so i'm going to take this flat makeup brush and that same ruby kisses cream foundation in that shade rd15 and put that throughout my part i'm not going to put it on my skin i'm just going to leave it on the lace and it is a little too wide in the front so i'm going to take this red by kiss quick cover up in black and i'm going to put this in the front so it can look more clean and crisp i didn't feel the need to put it throughout the whole entire part just in the front where it was just a little bit too wide. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you watched the whole way through. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something from it. Make sure to check the description box for all the information on this hair because it is B-O-M-B, -B, 10 out of 10. I'd recommend I do it again. And y'all make sure to follow me on Instagram too because I will be posting some bomb pics, okay? But yeah, y'all, this is the 28 inch wig from B Fox Hair HD Lace 13 by 4. Y'all see it slow motion for me, slow motion. But yeah, you guys, thank you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.